Let's look at how fighters pay is actually structured. So as a fighter, when you show up to a fight, you get what is called a show fee. You get that fee just for showing up. Win or lose, you get the show fee. If you win your fight, you get an additional 10K. So the loser gets 10K, the winner gets 20K. There is a possibility to make a post-fight bonus if your performance was worthy of it. Essentially, at the end of the fights, Dana and his team decide who gets a 50K bonus. Now keep in mind, this last 10 and 50K is only if you win and only if you get the bonus. If you lose the fight, you walk away with 10K. Finally, you get Reebok sponsorship money. That's 3,500. We need to discuss that. Uh, let the games begin. Anticipating the main event. Back in the days before the Reebok deal, fighters were allowed to wear their own sponsors on their uniforms. Like their uniforms would display their sponsors when they would walk into the ring. That's actually how most of them dealt with having such a low pay. They would compensate with their sponsors. When the UFC made that deal with Reebok in 2015, a uniform policy came along with it, forbidding the fighters from displaying their own sponsors. Fighters can't have independent sponsors when they walk into the cage now, and financially it seems to be uh, a huge disaster for the fighter. That deal cost UFC fighters on average 20 to 25k per fight, but for some of them it's much more than that. Vitor Belfort said that that deal cost them millions. He said, we are pretty much living in slavery, we can't use our own sponsors, they are banned inside the octagon. I don't like when I see fighters suffering financially. I don't like it. One of the ways the USC justifies treating their fighters like that is by saying that their fighters are independent contractors. They're not employees. They can then deprive them of benefits afforded to employees under state and federal laws. We, we get into all this money shit and the stuff that's going on right now. Everybody acts like this is a f***ing career. This isn't a career. This is not a career, this is an opportunity. So how do you survive as the average UFC contractor? Jared Cannonier, do you anticipate fighting again or kind of waiting to see what happens in that title fight? Um, I'm broke, so I need to fight. After the fight, one of the first things that you said on the mic to Daniel Cormier, which obviously drew a lot of headlines, was that you want to get back in there because, as you put it, you're broke. How, how, how dire is the situation? Former UFC fighter Miles Jury broke down his expenses on his website. We're gonna take a look at that. As a fighter, usually 10% of your purse goes to your gym, 20% to your management, 30% gets taxed. A lot of people don't understand that when we have these fights that we owe people money after these fights. 60% of my money is already gone between the gym, between management, between taxes. Then you need to pay your coach. That's usually 50 to 150 per hour. You need to pay your medical licenses. So before your fight, you need to get cleared by doctors and those expenses come out of your pocket. On top of that, I got bills, credit cards, I got kids. And diverse expenses that totaled one to two K for jury per camp. That can be transportation, gas, food. That money goes, money don't last forever. So let's take our 10K show, 10K win purse that we discussed earlier and see how that stacks up. That's two K in gym fees, four K for management, six K in taxes, a thousand for coaching, 500 bucks for medicals, a thousand for miscellaneous, Total expenses, 14,500. So the fighter makes a profit of $5,500 for one fight. Fighters on average fight two to three times a year. They suffer cuts and bruises that might take three to four months to heal. That is if they're lucky and they don't get injured or need a surgery. In that case, they might only fight once a year. And not, not being able to fight for the last 10 months, you know, put a strain on our pockets. Uh, Chris Weedman, who goes in and snaps his leg, like what happens in that scenario because in the NBA, they're guaranteed they a certain amount paid. of money. Yeah, they still the get In the UFC, they're not, there's no guarantee you have to go in there and fight to get oh paid. Oh my God. That's why the 50K bonus can actually be life-changing for a fighter. Uh, you got uh, performance of the night. Yeah! Oh, let's go! Let's go! I just found out two seconds ago I got performance of the night so yeah it's it's pretty surreal I seven weeks ago I decided to make a big risk and just 
ditched my house and everything in it in Dallas, Texas, and we packed up our car with one suitcase. We came here, we didn't have a house, we had nothing. You know, I took a big risk to get a big reward, and man, I just feel so happy. The, the show-win model, to me, is so outdated and archaic. Like, you walk into a main event on ESPN for the UFC, you deserve guaranteed pay. You know, I made 10 and 10 from my win and my win and show, so that 20,000 was just gone. I hope you get a finish and you can, uh, you know, do something spectacular to get on Sports Center, and then we'll give you double your pay. No, you should get that double pay up front. Just to get that bonus? <laughs> I've been so broke my whole life because of this sport, but it's so worth it to me because I love this sport, but to get a $50,000 paycheck, you know. How are me and you Sitting here, I'm three fights, three pro fights in, you're two pro fights in. How do you and I make more than every single fighter in the UFC? I think Francis Ngannou tweeted this, right? Or someone someone did. It might have been him. It's stupid, dude. It's dumb. But the answer is because people are invested. Do UFC actually comes ninth when it comes to highest paid sports? I am a high level, elite level athlete. I would like to get paid like elite level athletes, like the ones in the NFL and the NBA. That doesn't really factor in the risk reward ratio of the sport. And then to go, yeah, that's what they sign up for. It's part of the game. Yeah, so you gotta pay them like it's part of the game.